In order to properly place your rain garden, you want to monitor a few storm events on your property. You want to take note of where water drains away from your property and your driveway, and that is the proper location for your rain garden. You want to make sure that the slopes are less than 10%. You want to call 811 to locate any utilities, and you want to make sure that you steer clear of any trees in order to avoid any root damage. So once you've found the spot and you know that the soils are going to work, you need to calculate the size of your garden. You are going to have to do a little bit of math, but don't be afraid of it. It's fairly simple. So the size of the rain garden is determined like this. You multiply the drainage area of the roof by the depth of the rainwater runoff and then divide by the depth of the rain garden. So for example, we would multiply 450 by 1 and then divide by 6. That gives us a square footage of 75. The first thing we want to do is get our basic design laid out and the easiest way is to take a garden hose and lay that garden hose out and after we've laid out the hose then we go in with our simple hand tools and our shovels and whatever else we need to, to start digging that soil out and remove it down to the grade we want. In our case we also we put out a line level across the grade to make sure that we were staying on a level area and to know if we need to build up a berm on one side so that we would not lose our water out that way. In thinking about your plant selection, you want to make sure that you consider not only the moisture that is going to be expected in your rain garden, but the light conditions as well, and the soil. And so choosing plants that are adapted to those specific conditions is important. You might have a location that's in full sun, and so you want to make sure that those plants are going to be able to take that full sun. There are also plenty of species available for shade or part shade conditions as well. And your best bet are really those species that can kind of take all types of conditions. Rain gardens are great for a lot of different things. Holding back some of that water that can help to mitigate flooding. Treating that water by allowing particles to settle out and to get into the soil where biological and chemical activity can break up some of those pollutants and components. But it can also serve as an attractive landscape element on your lot. And depending on the plant species that you choose, if you use native species, it can serve as a habitat for wildlife, things like birds and butterflies.